first question here, okay, the things that I wrote down was negative 8 Celsius to 0 Celsius. So the difference here is 8 Celsius, whereby from 0 to 9, the difference is 9 Celsius. So total, the temperature rises will be 8 plus 9 equals to 17. So for question 2 here, okay, I actually made a mistake. So the area between A and B is also included because the question goes by A, the entire A union with everything other than B. Okay, these are the things to take note. So question 3, you can just refer to my drawing and identify A's image. Question 4. Okay, Pip and Ali share 785 in the ratio. So first thing that I did was I find the total ratio, which is 5. So Pip equals to 785 multiplied by 4 over 5. And the results will be 628. Question 5, I add all the variables up, divided them by 8, okay, and the results will be equals to 7.5. So after you run the calculation, the y's results will actually be 7. Question 6, corrected it to one significant figures so 3.9 equals to 4 23 29.3 equals to 30 8.9 equals to 9 2.7 equals to 3 so after the calculation you will get 10 as the final results Question 7, pretty straightforward. You can just refer to my working and get the answer. Question A. Things to take note is that APO's value will actually be 90. Okay, because it is from the radius joining with a line outside of it. Okay. So for the interior angle of a triangle actually 180. Hence 180 minus 90 minus 37. Then you will get 53 as the value of POA. So with that being said, we can now use the information to find the radius through sine rule. So the value will actually be 8.29. Whereby for question 9a, okay, first I extracted a from the first two variables and 3c from the remaining two variables there. So after the re rearrangement, then you get the final results as a plus 3c x plus y. Whereby for part b, the okay, things that I did first was to extract the common factor 3 out of both of them. Then I'm left with a squared minus 4b squared here. Then I utilize the formula Okay, a squared minus b squared equals to a plus b, a minus b. So our a is still the same. However, for our b, it is actually 2b here.
Whereby for question 10, okay, x equals to 0 0.155555. So 10x equals to 1.5555. So the difference of this will actually be 9x equals to 1.4. Okay, so after the rearrangement and calculation, you will get the final answer as 7 over 45. Question 11, okay, information that was given was the radius as 6.1, okay, calculate the parameter of the protractor. So first thing you need to take note is you need to add two radius together with the formula 2 pi r. However, the 2 pi r formula is for a full circle and a protractor is only a semi-circle. Hence, you are required to multiply half into the 2 pi r formula. So the final results will be 31.36 instead. Question 12, okay, keyword directly proportional. Okay, V equals to K bracket R plus 1 bracket Q. So the results will actually be, so first thing that you identify will be the case value, which is 3 in our case. Then substitute it into the formula V equals to 3 bracket R plus 1 Q. Okay, so substitute 2 into R's position, then you get 81 as the final answer. Question 13. So first thing that I did was I shift the B to the other side. Okay, then I removed the A from the equation by shifting it to the other side again. So x squared equals to y minus B over A. So in order for you to get rid of the square, okay, simply add the square root to y minus B over A. Question 14. Okay, first thing first, Kilometer per hour, you're required to change it into meter per second. 56, you're required to multiply by 1000. But by 40 hour, you're required to divide by 60 times 60. So it will be 140 over 9 meter per second. So with that being said, we can now find the time taken. Okay, because the speed is 140 over 9 equals to our distance here is 300 and our time is unknown. After you run the cross multiple, we're required to take note on the keyword nearest second. Hence, the answer will be 19 only. However, for question 15, x squared minus 16. This one is actually the a squared minus b squared formula. So the numerator part, it will equivalent to the value of x plus 4, x minus 4. However, for the bottom part, you're required to use the cross multiple method. So I've written down at the left hand side over here, the working. So the results will actually be x minus 4, x plus 1. So we cross off the x minus 4. So the final answer will be x plus 4 over x plus 1. Whereby for question 16, okay, Hazel invested 1,800 for 7 years, okay, keyword compound interest. So substitute it into formula, 1,800 times 100% plus 1.5% to the power of 7. Okay. Then move on to the next keyword, nearest dollar. Hence you are required to round out the results that you have gotten. Okay. So it will actually be 1,998. So key things here is that they want you to find the interest only. Okay, so the interest here, okay, will actually be 1,998 minus 1,800. Question 17, part A. So I actually made a mistake here. Okay, because I treated the question as from triangle T to triangle S instead of what was being asked by the question. So this actually pointed out by one of our viewers here. Okay, so 
to correct it okay there's only a mistake on the scale factor value so the scale factor value will actually be half okay because 2 over 4 equals to 1 over 2 So find the matrix which represents the transformation triangle S to triangle T. This part is actually correct. Okay, I simply messed up for question 17 part 8. Question 18, pretty straightforward. Okay, you can just refer to my working for part A, part B and part C. So question 19 here, keyword total surface area. So I actually list down all the possible shapes over there. Okay, and the key thing is that for the minor sector of 25 degree, okay, the pi r square formula is for a full circle, hence you're required to multiply the angles of it to get the accurate answer. So 25 over 360 times pi times 15 square times 2 because there's top and bottom. Whereby for the rectangular faces, okay, it will be 5 times 15 times 2. Okay, and for the curve area, Okay, this one we will be using the 2 pi r formula. Okay. Okay, same things apply here. You're required to multiply the degree into it. So 25 over 360 times 2 times pi times 15 times 5. Okay, which is the height. Okay. So the total value after we add them up, it will be 280.9. Question 20, okay, has a blue eye, so 0 0.4 times 0 0.4 equals to 0 0.16, okay, question B is asking for have different colored eyes, so 1 minus blue times blue minus brown times brown minus green times green so the final results will actually be 0 0.58 
So question 21. So this one is actually the function question. So I will not do any voiceover for this particular part. You can just refer to my working and sort it out. So thank you for watching, uh, this will be it for the question paper 21 October November 2015. So if you have friends that happen to struggle to solve all this past year paper, feel free to share our channel to them. So I wish you all the best in your exam preparation. Thank you.